the last Today, the house marked its first anniversary of helping people in need. This afternoon, a shelter for the homeless opened its doors so anyone could come in and see what it does. Volunteers and supporters of the St. Francis House are celebrating a busy first year. Nearly 900 different guests spent the night, a demand that surprised the staff. And I think we're seeing a lot of what they call the new poor, people who have lost their jobs and can't find employment, then lose their house or apartment. If you've lost a job, missed a bus connection, or just don't have any money, you can stay here free for up to 30 days. The house closes during the day to encourage people to go out looking for work. Most of the people we get through here, they're not bums, they're, uh, but they're just too financially embarrassed. Put it that way. <laughs> Monty Jacobson had to stay here for a few days when he was in a bind. He then started volunteering, and now he's a paid staff member. He and the others prepare a place for up to 49 people nightly. The staff members here don't cook any meals for their guests, but they do try to keep a pot of soup on the stove and try to provide something for breakfast before the guests leave for the day. A lot of the food and snacks are donated by local businesses. Clothing has also been given to the house for those in need. The homeless come mainly from the Sioux Falls area, but people from all over the country have stayed here. In this winter time, the St. Francis House averaged about 25 to 30 guests per night.